hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Belinda beauties today I'm gonna be doing this beautiful farmhouse style tray using none other than Dollar Tree items before that we get started though I'd like to ask if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit that bell button so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video let's begin I'll be using some spray paint in the color white one placemat from the home collection, a glue gun, a stem from the Wisteria bouquet, two picture frames in the size 11 by 14, super glue, a sanding block, four spoons that come in a pack of two, and some twine. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wrapping from the picture frames. I'm going to also remove the backing and the glass. And now I'm ready to spray paint my picture frames, so I'm going to go outside and go spray paint them. The paint is now dry on my picture frames. I want my picture frames to look distressed, so I'm going to go ahead and sand off some of the paint using my sanding block. Now I'm going to cut the placemat because I want it to fit in my picture frame. And I'm using the backing as my guide. Now that I have traced the cardboard, I'm ready now to cut. Now I'm going to remove the metal picture holders and I'm going to do that to both of the picture frames. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert the backboard into the picture frame. I'm going to go ahead and add some super glue all around the edge of the inner corner of the picture frame. Now I'm going to place the backboard onto the picture frame. Now I'm going to add the second cardboard on top of the one that I had just laid in and I've already hot glued them and I'm going to press them together. And this is how it looks. Now moving on to the second picture frame. Now for this picture frame I'm going to insert the glass but before that I do that I'm going to add some super glue and some hot glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay the placemat on top of the picture frame that has the backboarding. I've already put some hot glue and now I'm just going to lay down the placemat and just press on it so that the hot glue can adhere well. And if I haven't said it yet, this is the back side of the picture frame. And now I'm just going to add some flowers to it. I'm just using one stem of the wisteria. I'll be placing the flower right there on the corner. I'll be using a small amount of hot glue and I'll be putting it at the edge of the stem. I cut off a piece of the petal from the flowers just to cover up where I had put the glue. And this is how it looks. Okay, now it's time to bring both picture frames together and I'm gonna be applying some hot glue and some super glue. And I'm gonna go all around the edge of the picture frame. Okay, now it's time for me to place the picture glass frame over the bottom part. And now I'm just going to press down and make sure that they bond well together. Next we're going to move on to the spoons. I'm going to bend the spoons for them to look this way. On my first attempt I broke the first spoon. I was needing something round where I could lay my spoon across and bend each side 
so I figured that the spray can was the best option for me. As I held each end of the spoon, I gently pressed down until it started curving in the middle. Since these spoons are from the Dollar Tree, they do tend to bend really easily. This spoon right here is how I want the rest of the spoons to look. As you can see here, this spoon needs to be bent upward. So I'm gonna start bending the spoon upward. And here I'm just showing you that I need to go up just a little bit more. I'm gonna follow the same steps for all the spoons. Here I'm showing you that once I glue down these spoons, this is how they will look and they will serve as a handle. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to be super gluing and hot gluing these spoons. And this is how the spoon looks once it's been glued down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the second spoon, but I'm gonna place it on the opposite side. I'm also gonna join the two ends of the spoons with some hot glue and super glue. And now I'm going to add some twine. Okay, my beauties, my tray is now complete. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next DIY. So bye bye and God bless.